Welcome to Women of the Metaverse. I am Cheryl Laidlaw. I am Angela Harkness. We have been and are still on a journey to discover the Metaverse, Web 3.0, NFTs and anything that we are required to know to join this world. From this podcast, we will help you to unlock how the metaverse is going to impact your brand, your business, and even your personal life. Join us as we take the mystery out of this new digital universe. Welcome to Women of the Metaverse. In this episode, we are talking about how Canva has joined the AI world. We have been talking a lot about AI and the conversations will continue because there seems to be a new tool out every other day. But we think that it is fantastic that Canva has done this because it brings something new into an application that people are comfortable with and therefore more likely to try it and then maybe spread their wings and try other AI tools. Let us start at the beginning. If you don't know about Canva or have never used it, then you are missing out. Created by a woman called Melanie Perkins, Canva was launched in 2013. At first, it was a basic graphic design tool. It helped those of us who didn't want to spend big money on tools such as Photoshop or didn't have the time to learn these complex tools. What is perfect about it is that it's free. It's very easy to use. There is a paid version, but you can still do a lot with the free one. Over the coming 10 years, it has become a powerhouse tool for anyone creating content which is practically everyone Mm -hmm. they have added new tools more content templates and more ways to create for example voiceover on images product layouts print on demand more elements image manipulation and animation these are just a few of the features also over time there are now a huge number of expert users to refer to and learn from especially on TikTok and YouTube. So you can get tips from them to help you create incredibly professional pieces of content if you aren't already an expert user yourself. It is not just how to do the basics. There is a mountain of free content to help you really maximize these tools. It is quite impressive what people are able to create now. So let's talk about AI and how it works. In September 2022, Canva released a new tool called Docs. This was to enable much more professional-looking documents. On December 7th, they they introduced Magic Write in beta, which is a tool that can be used in Docs to help assist you with your writing. Something to bear in mind is that ChatGPT was released on the 30th of November, If you don't know what that is, listen to episode 40, where we explain all. But this is just to say that Canva is not being left behind. They seem to be at the forefront of this, which is pretty impressive. Mm. What magic right, not Mike, what magic right allows you to do is to use it as a writing assistant. So, for example, we asked it, and this is the exact prompt that we used, Write 10 women of the metaverse ideas that we can create for a podcast episode. These are just an example of the 10. They're not very specific and a lot of ideas are episodes that we've already released. So let's have a little jump, jump in. The rise of women in the metaverse, the future of virtual education. Again, we've done that. Women in VR, women in blockchain. Women in virtual collaboration, women in esports, women in XR, and the list goes on a a little bit of women. I quite like the women in the Internet of Things. That's quite, they did actually come up with some quite good ideas, which we may actually do. Yeah. Women in crypto security. Anyway, we could go on. Yeah. Also, as you know, our tagline for the podcast is giving women a voice in this space. So we went back and asked it to write 10 Instagram posts that women in the metaverse and giving women a voice in this space. Here are a couple that it produced in less than a minute. 
We are so excited to be giving a voice to women in the metaverse. Let's show our support and celebrate all amazing women who are making the mark in this space. So that was number one. Number two, women are breaking barriers in the metaverse and making their presence known. And we couldn't be happier. Again, a bit lame, but that's all right. Women are creating new paths, discovering new possibilities and pushing boundaries in the metaverse. Let's keep the momentum going. <laughs> and again, but, but like, again, because our prompt, well, it wasn't a strong prompt. But what's really good about it is we asked it to put in the hashtag, which it did as well, yes. which is really good. I love the fact that it does the hashtags. Just... I know. And can add a link too, which is really good. It's really good. So at the moment, it is in beta mode. So there are limitations. For example, it can only be used in their dock feature. But we are sure over time it, it will be implemented across the Canva platform. Also, at the moment, English is the best language to use. Other language languages have been introduced um, at the recording of this podcast. So far, it's French, Portu Portuguese, Spanish and Indonesian. Uh, we are sure that other languages will be rolled out, but for the moment, reports say that you'll get the best results from English. Also, for free users, you have 25 lifetime magic rights. And for those that pay or have the pro version, they have 75 rights each billing month. Although not available for their education plan, which might be because they want to stop sh students from using it for their homework, we have no clue whether it, this will change for the future, though. There's also some limitations, as with all AI tools, because they are so new, and most of them, as we have said, are in beta. So firstly, it only uses information up to the middle of 2021 and has about 200 words that you can input, and the output is 500 words. So it's a lot more limiting than chat GPT. Yeah. So despite these limitations, this is an incredible tool that can help you create, but we want to give you some advice. The purpose of this tool is really that it helps you with content. We've talked about this digital world where it is essential to stand out. So your creativity and your own ideas are what's important. You know, as I saw, which kind of makes me think about this, there is so much coming up on TikTok for me because I get quite a lot of Canva videos. And there was somebody that created a video and they were saying, right, you can just go into Magic Rights. If you wanted to be a VA, all you need to do now is go into Magic Right, ask it this question, it will give you this answer, and then that's what you can pass over to your client. And I was thinking, mm, if I was a client, that's not how I would want you to be creating my content. I would want you to be creating original content and make sure that it was original. So that's where that warning comes from is you have to still be very careful. So when Sharon and I have used the, the AI, we kind of feed it with something we've already created and then and get something from that. Or if we ask it for ideas, we then will then add to it. So be very careful about just using what's there. It's that whole particularly if you've got, culture. Yes, yes. Particularly if you're using it for clients. I think that, I think if I was a client, I'd be a bit peeved about that, I think. So. Uh, well, yeah, it's, it's that whole bish bash bosh, you know, just yes. do this and it'll be a fantastic outcome. Uh, that's not always the case. Yeah. I think if I was paying money for a VA, I'd want the VA to know what they were doing and not just, you know, if you used it as an aid, that's absolutely fine. Don't have a problem with that. But if you, if I was paying someone to be a creative, I'd want them to be a creative. I think that goes, that, that rings true with all AI. It needs yeah. to be an aid. It can't be the end product. No, no, I agree. I agree with you. Okay, the next amazing tool they have added is called Image to Text. This is another AI tool which is similar to many of the AI image creation tools that are being released and discussed a lot. 
As we have mentioned several times with all of these AI tools, the better you become at learning how to write prompts, the better the results. Different than Magic Write, which we have just discussed, you can use it across all their templates. You can create Instagram posts, add your images to presentations, put the images on a product for print on demand, use it to help you create a brand identity, images for a website, avatars, branded station, we could go on. The way in which you can use this is limitless. If you start a design in Canva and then go to apps or search for image to text, it will come up. It is very easy to use. You type in your prompt and there are some examples to help you understand how to write prompts. This is going to be such a skill over the coming years. There are also some options to choose a style. So there's like concept art. You can make it look very photographic. You can make it look like a painting or a drawing. There's a 3D option. And then there's also a pattern, which is brilliant for the print on demand stuff. You type in your prompt and it will generate four images for you. So we typed in female entrepreneur working in the metaverse, surrounded by pink flowers, massive screen and an elegant desk. And we'll put the results on our website on the show notes so you can see what it created. If you don't like what it creates for you, you have an option to generate more images. You can start again or you can actually edit the prompt. You are limited to 100 images a day. So that's understandable because it takes a huge amount of resources to generate these images. And it is quite easy to get addicted to it and generate images continuously, which is what I did, which is where I found out about the 100 <laughs> images a day limit. <laughs> the other downside is the images that are created are about 300 by 300. And they do lose their quality when you try and increase its size which is a bit frustrating, and we hope that that will develop soon. You can make some edits to the images, including the usual contrast, saturation, and brightness. You can add some filters, and it does have an autofocus. So you have to be aware of that if you have big, big plans for it. But it can give different options than the free stock images, and you, you do have a bit more control over what you can create so it can be a bit original but give it a go it is brilliant what we love about this is that it shows that ai is not highly technical and out of reach to us normal people it has and will continue to be part of our daily and business lives you have a chance to embrace it and ensure that your brand stands out we hope that you've enjoyed this episode join us next week as we continue our journey into the metaverse Bye for now. Bye. Thank you for listening to this episode of Women of the Metaverse. You can find all information, links, and people we talked about in the show notes on our website. If you have enjoyed this podcast, please comment and subscribe. Join us again in the next episode as we continue this exciting Metaverse journey.